top 10 anime you never knew had a crossover. Fans never seem to get tired of crossovers, and creators have gone from simple crossover specials to full-on series. Crossovers are loved by everyone. It's always neat to see what would happen if two characters that wouldn't normally interact meet each other. That's why people love things like Scooby-Doo team-ups and seeing Power Rangers meet the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The anime world is pretty well known for its crossovers as well. Sometimes they go for easier ones like having a creator's two productions meet in the same universe, and other times they'll go so far as to bring in franchises that aren't even anime into the animated realm. Fans never seem to get tired of crossovers, and creators have gone from simple crossover specials to full-on series. Number 10. Lupin the Third and Detective Conan. It's hard to say this combination doesn't make sense. The world's greatest thief versus the world's greatest detective. Conan has an antagonist like this in his series, but it's still not the same as matching up against Lupin. This was popular enough that it necessitated not only a special but an actual film as well. In this storyline, Lupin is accused of stealing the cherry sapphire, with Conan attempting to track him down to recover it. Number 9. Carmen Rider Forza and Shin Chan. One thing we're aware of is how Shin's always been a massive Carmen Rider fan. He's constantly doing Carmen Rider poses as shout-outs, so it makes sense to see him pop up in Carmen Rider Forza for a brief little shout-out. Shin Chan works with Forza to get his sister back from aliens that want to turn her into their princess. The series is half animated and half live action, but completely fun the whole way through. Number 8. Toriko, One Piece and Dragon Ball Z. Take three of the most popular shonen heroes of their era and combine them for a surprisingly memorable television special. It features members of all the casts, but largely centers around the three protagonists. Goku, Luffy, and Toriko wind up in a tournament where the prize is food. Give this a watch for anyone that wants to see all three of these characters working together, but also for those who wanted to see the Straw Hats work together to help power the spirit bomb alongside Goku's Sea Warrior friends. Number 7. Digimon's Rose Wars. Most people probably don't remember Rose Wars. It was the last Digimon series before they decided to start aiming everything towards fans of the first series. It was focused on a new protagonist, and their twist on Digimon involved fusing everything. But eventually, they faced foes that were so dangerous they wound up summoning Digimon heroes from all the previous anime to help them take down the bad guys. Number 6. Shattered Angels. A lesser-known crossover, this series took multiple anime from Kaishaku, Kanazuki no Miko, Steel Angel Kurumi, Magical Nyan Nyan Taruto, UFO Princess Valkyrie, and found a way to combine everyone into a single series. The story itself is about a high school girl named Kushiratori, living in the city of academia that's recovering from a massive disaster. While trying to live her normal life, she meets a young man she's been dreaming about that pulls her into the world of the absolute angels. Also, for whatever reason, there are giant robots, because that's never a bad thing. Number 5. Subasa, Reservoir Chronicle. Take all of the characters from the various, incredibly popular Clamp series over the years and place them into a single anime. That's what happened with Subasa, Reservoir Chronicle, where all of the characters are from previous Clamp storylines. It's intentional too, with the main character traveling to multiple worlds to reclaim Sakura's memories from the worlds. Number 4. Ranma Half, Inuyasha, Urusei Yatsura. It's a Rumak world exit to celebrate the multiple decades Romako has been doing this. It's a brief three-minute special that combines the casts of Inuyasha, Urusei Yatsura, and Ranma Half into a single show. This could have easily run as an entire series, but then they doubtlessly would have had to include some of her more recent successes as well. Number 3. Fairy Tale and Rave Master. Hiro Mishima is a creator known for multiple different series, like Fairy Tale and Groove Adventure Rave, and even the Eden Zero manga, which is being turned into an anime. He's also known for wanting to do tons of crossovers with his characters, which is why Fairy Tale X Rave exists. In this special, both of the main character casts get to team up to deal with a specific mission. But not before we get a showdown between Natsu and Haru. Number 2. Fate Franchise. 
Carnival Phantasm takes all the characters from the Fate series and tosses them together for a good time. It's a nice break from being constantly reminded that all of the characters are fighting each other in dangerous combat for a chance at a wish that could alter reality. Carnival Phantasm is instead a quiz game show where the characters just compete for the fun and amusement of the viewers. Number 1. Dragon Ball Z slash Dr. Slump Dr. Slump was the first series that Akira Toriyama found success with before he went on to do Dragon Ball. It was popular enough that he wound up doing a crossover in the original Dragon Ball series, with Goku being transported to another world where he meets the android known as Arale, the main character of Dr. Slump. The two of them manage to defeat a villain together, but that's not the only time we see her. She also makes an appearance in Dragon Ball Super during one of the filler episodes. So, there you have it. Top 10 anime you never knew had a crossover. If you have any suggestions or recommendations, please let us know in the comments section. And if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please, give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon, to explore the world of anime more deeply with us. Have a nice day, and we will see you in the next video.